Hello guys, today in Wildlife All Abouts, we're going to talk about starfish. First of all, they're not fish at all. As a matter of fact, they don't have gills. Isn't it strange? Even they don't have scales and fins like fish do. And they move quite differently from fish. Sea stars belong to the phylum Echinodermata. That means they're related to sand dollars. Yes, they are a real animal. Sea orchids and sea cucumbers. All echinoderms have five point radial symmetry, which means that their body plan has five sections, or multiples thereof, arranged around a central disc. Next time you're in a beach themed store, see if you can find a dried sea star, sand dollar, and sea urchin, and find the five sections in each. There are about 2000 species of sea stars. What the fuck? I wonder who keeps count on this fact. Some live in the intertidal zone, some in deep water, some in tropical areas, and some in cold water. Do you know starfish can even regenerate their lost arm? Interesting. Something like stem cells, whatever we have, right? That is useful if the sea star is threatened by a predator. It can drop an arm, get away, and grow a new arm. Sea stars house most of their vital organs in their arms. So some can even regenerate an entirely new sea star from just one arm. Amazing, isn't it guys? Depending on the species, a sea star skin may feel leathery or slightly prickly. Sea stars have a tough covering on their upper side, which is made up of plates of calcium carbonate with tiny spines on their surface. A sea star's spines are used for protection from predators, which include birds, fish, and sea otters. I wish I had an armor, it would have been so cool. Instead of blood, sea stars have a water vascular system in which the sea star pumps seawater through its CF plate or madriporite into its tube feet to extend them. Muscles within the tube feet retract them. Sea stars move using hundreds of tube feet, which are located on their underside. Fuck, after 40 arms, now 100 feet? Sea stars can move more quickly than you might expect. If you ever get a chance, try visiting a tide or aquarium and take a moment to watch a sea star moving around. Speaking of prey, sea stars have a rather unique way of eating theirs. A sea star's mouth is on its underside. They prey on bivalves like mussels and clams, as well as small fish, snails and barnacles. If you ever tried to pry the shell of a clam or mussel open, you know how difficult it is. Sea stars wrap their arms around the animal's shell and pull it open just enough. And then it does something we could never imagine. It pushes its stomach through its mouth and into the bivalve's shell. It then digests the animal and slides its stomach back into its own body. This unique feeding mechanism allows the sea star to eat larger prey than it would otherwise be able to fit into its tiny mouth. Starfish reproduce both asexually and sexually. That's it for today. See you guys with our next video on wildlife all about soon. For now, hit subscribe.